Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Top 10 Countdown. I'm your host, Jordan Ross. With Clint Eastwood's Sully hitting theaters, we put together a list of the top 10 airplane movies of all time. Top Gun is one of the classic movies of the 80s, but that doesn't change the fact that it's actually a pretty bad movie. However, without Top Gun, we never would have had number 10 on our list. Hot Shots was a hilarious parody of Top Gun, in which a talented but unstable fighter pilot must overcome the ghost of his father and save a mission sabotaged by greedy weapons manufacturers. While Top Gun is the more popular film, Hot Shots is definitely the better film, which is quite a feat. It's rare that a parody is superior to the film that it spoofs. To make it even better, Charlie Sheen was considered for Tom Cruise's role in Top Gun, so it's fitting that he ended up spoofing his character in Hot Shots. This movie arguably has one of the highest laughs per minute ratios in the last 30 plus years, and is one of the greatest parodies of all time. You are clear to land. Welcome to the Mediterranean. Watch out, is that you? You bet. They put me in charge of radar. From now on, I'll be your eyes on the ground. Next up is a film that features one of the most badass cinematic presidents of all time. Harrison Ford's President James Marshall in Air Force One doesn't need secret service agents or an army to rescue him. When hijackers seize his plane, the president takes matters into his own hands and takes out the terrorists one by one. A tough POTUS isn't all this movie has going for it though. This is a quintessential 90s action movie, and like all great action movies, it has a great villain, the incomparable Gary Oldman as Ivan Korshunov, one of his most memorable antagonists to date. This movie is basically Die Hard on a Plane. Iconic action star, charismatic bad guy, and a group of international terrorists getting their butts handed to them by a single dude. Robert Zemeckis' flight doesn't have as much flying as you'd expect from the title. However, the plane crash sequence at the beginning of the film was so impressive that we included it on our list. This film follows the story of an airline pilot who saves almost all of his passengers on his malfunctioning airliner. But an investigation into the accident reveals that he's an alcoholic and was indeed drunk when he crash landed the plane. This is a thoughtful and provocative character study that is anchored by a complex and authentic performance from Denzel Washington. It's easy to go over the top when playing drunk, but Mr. Washington is extremely believable and pulls it off seamlessly. Number 7 on our list is the 1930 Howard Hughes epic, Hell's Angels. It follows brothers Monty and Ray after they leave Oxford to join the Royal Flying Corps. There's a pretty awful love triangle that you'll have to sit through between the two brothers and a woman named Helen. She even ends up hooking up with some other dude. Helen's a bit of a hoe. However, it's all worth it for the spectacularly elaborate World War I dogfight and the incredible Zeppelin sequence. Even though this film was made nearly an entire century ago, the action sequences hold up to this day. Thanks to the fact that Howard Hughes was irresponsible and insane, but also a creative genius, he was able to bring us some of the most ambitious and death-defying aviation battles in film history. While the last film on our list was made by Howard Hughes, our next film is about Howard Hughes. Martin Scorsese's The Aviator depicts the early years of the legendary director and aviator's career from the late 1920s to the mid-1940s. Scorsese's golden boy, Leonardo DiCaprio, brings the eccentric billionaire to life with one of his strongest performances of his career. This film not only covers the making of Hell's Angels, but it touches on his Senate hearing, plane crash, and his romance with beloved movie star Katherine Hepburn, which earned Kate Blanchett an Oscar. On top of that, this movie scored another four Oscar wins and six more nominations. How could we not include this on our list? This is a great film about a great pilot who made another one of the greatest airplane movies of all time. This was pretty much a shoe in <clears throat> Now, honey, you've had enough of this ice cream. You give me that spoon, you'll get your gloves all sticky. 
Next up is 1939's Only Angels Have Wings, starring Cary Grant and Gene Arthur. The film is set at a remote South American trading port and follows the manager of an air freight company who's forced to risk his pilot's lives in order to win an important contract. This is basically a workplace dramedy about an airmail service in a South American banana port. This film is Howard Hawks at his absolute best, combining spectacular aerial sequences, well-placed humor, heartfelt drama, and strong performances from the entire cast. Number four is arguably the most difficult film to watch on our list. In fact, it might be one of the most difficult films to watch, period. However, it's also one of the most important. United 93 is a real-time account of the events on United Flight 93, one of the planes hijacked on September 11, 2001, that crashed near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, when passengers foiled the terrorist plot. Telling this delicate and heartbreaking story is no easy task, but Paul Greengrass treated the subject matter with respect, never resorting to Hollywood spectacle. There's a lot of us, but we gotta do something. Can you see how low we are? Is there a weapon? Is there something we can use? Go back. You go back. Stewardess, listen to me. Are you listening? I'm listening. Go back and you get every, get every weapon you can. Number three is 1949's 12 O'Clock High, which stars Gregory Peck as a hard-as-nails general who takes over a bomber unit suffering from low morale and whips them into fighting shape. This film was nominated for four Oscars, winning two. It's extremely well-written, well-acted, and thought-provoking. It explores the psychological effects and tolls of making life-and-death decisions and the pressure of being in command of men at war. 12 O'Clock High is without a doubt one of the most realistic and honest aviation slash war films ever made. Number two is not only the oldest film on our list, but it was also the very first film to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards way back in 1927. Wings follows the story of two young men, one rich, one middle class, who were in love with the same woman. What is it with love triangles in these old aviation movies? Anyway, the two men become World War I fighter pilots and take part in some daring missions. Since then, many war epics have borrowed heavily from this movie, thanks to the ahead-of-its-time cinematography and stunt work. The acting is melodramatic and overly emotional, but so were all movies back then. It still doesn't make this film any less impressive. This film gives its viewers an unforgettable idea of the existence of these brave fighter pilots. We started this list off with a parody movie, so we thought we'd end it with one too. On a list about airplane movies, it only makes sense that the movie Airplane would be number one. Not only is this the best airplane movie in our opinion, but it's one of the greatest comedies of all time. It follows a man who's afraid to fly who must ensure that a plane lands safely after the pilots become sick. Airplane is one of the most quotable films ever made, and its slapstick gags hold up to this day. Sure, this movie is cheesy, goofy, predictable, and corny, but those are the precise reasons that it's so funny. Nowadays, spoof movies are some of the worst films ever made. Disaster movie, epic movie, date movie, etc. However, there was a time when spoof movies were the cream of the comedic crop, and Airplane is the film that started it all. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Well, that's about it. Did we leave out any of your favorite airplane movies? Just let us know in the comments section. Be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Jordan Ross.